Amen. You may be seated. I tell you, I'm so excited this morning to be able to celebrate some baptisms. Uh, we have some that have come and have given their life to Christ, and uh, they're going to make that public this morning by the waters of baptism. And, and it really is a special, special time. As, as uh, We've got several back here who could just very quickly do a cannonball into the tub. We've been back here talking about how serious and how special this is, and and uh, as we have these children, as we have uh, this young man come and, and show you what's taking place in their heart, let me tell you what they're actually showing you. They're going to go down under the water and they're going to come back up. And as they do that, they're going to symbolize what's taking place in their heart. They have put their faith in Jesus Christ. And just as Jesus died and rose again, they too, when they put their faith in Jesus Christ, they died to their old selves. They were forgiven of their sin, and they were given new life. And so as we celebrate what's taking place in our life, it really is an exciting time. It is appropriate for us to clap and to praise the Lord together as we celebrate uh, these, these commitments to the Lord as they have, have made Jesus the King of their life. And we're going to begin with Anna Grace. <laughs> this is Anna Grace Dedman. And uh, everybody knows Anna Grace, and we just love her so much. And this is her dad, Doug. And uh, we've had a long talk, me and Anna Grace, and she told me all about asking Jesus to forgive her of her sin and uh, making him the boss of her life. And so we just want to celebrate with her. And we know that uh, as a young lady, you know, for her to have that childlike faith is an answer to prayer. But she's got a long life ahead of her of serving the Lord, of learning more about Him. And we're thankful for parents like Doug who raise their kids to love Jesus and, uh, and disciple their children. And so, Doug, I want you to do the honors, okay? Anna Grace, let me ask you, though. Who is your king? God. Who lives in your heart? Yeah? And you know that uh, He is in your heart and will never leave you, right? And you made Him the boss and the Lord of your life, right? Alright, well because of that decision to follow Jesus and in obedience to Him, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Buried with Christ in baptism and raised and walked in the new life. Brooklyn, come on out here. And Chris, come on out here too. This is this is Brooklyn Cowan. She is eight years old and seven. Well, see, I thought you were twelve, but seven. We'll go with seven. And this is Chris Black. Chris is is uh, is Brooklyn's stepdad, and uh, we got to visit together, and they have together just given their life to the Lord. As we've been studying Acts, we've been seeing how households have come to know. Jesus and put their faith in Him. And so as we see homes like this transformed, it's just so exciting. And so, um, Brooklyn, let me, let me ask you a question. Have you asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior? And you know that He's the King of your life? Well, because of that decision to follow Jesus and in obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism and raised to walk in the world. And uh, this is Chris, Chris Black, and man, I'm just so excited about what the Lord's doing in your life. And uh, we, I got to visit with him at his home, and we talked about what it means to, to uh, have Jesus as your king and to make that public through baptism. And I said, is that what you wanted to do? He said, oh yeah, I'll never forget that. And, uh, and so, man, I'm just so excited about what God's not only doing in your heart and in your life, but in your home. And with your family, you got a new baby on the way, and uh, it's just so exciting. So it's a privilege to baptize you. So let me ask you, who is your king? God. God. And you've asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Yes. And because of that decision to follow Christ in obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. And raised to walk in the name of God. Alright, now I got my little buddies Boston and Keaton. Come on out here, fellas. 
these two brothers have come to uh, to profess publicly and openly their faith in Jesus Christ, and it's just so exciting. I, I tell you, I'm so excited to see how the Lord is at work in the Wizen Hunt home. And by the way, these are Brooklyn's cousins, and so just as God is stirring up homes and families, it's just really exciting as they bring transformation. So, boys, let me ask you a question, Boston. I'm going to do the big brother first. You come here. I'm going to ask you a very important question. Is Jesus the king of your life? Because of your uh, profession of faith in Jesus and in obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism and raised to walk in the newness of life. Now you stand right here while you're going to run a And here is Keaton. He's kind of poking out peeking out at you. Here he is. And uh, Keaton also as well comes to uh, make public his following Jesus. So let me ask you, is Jesus your King? Yes. You've made Him the Lord of your life and asked Him to come into your heart. Amen. Well, because of your uh, decision to follow Christ and in obedience to Him, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in new life. Oh. All right. 30 seconds. You held your breath for 30 seconds. That was good. All right. I am so excited about what the Lord is doing in the life of our children's ministry particularly. I'm going to ask Katie Cook if she would come share just a few minutes about uh, what the Lord is doing there with her ministry.